The acid base material has a lot of problem solving. So you'll want to save most of your most of your space on your note sheet for problem solving itself. Now we do have a couple of equations and we'll start with KW is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion times the concentration of the hydroxide ion. And that is all equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. Now from there we can derive the pH, which is going to be the negative log of that concentration of hydrogen ion, as well as pOH, which is the negative log of the concentration of the hydroxide ion. Now when you add pH and pOH together, you should get 14. And that's about it for our equations. Now I'm going to give you a, um, a time saver here. Most of the time, and you'll have to use this in your own problem solving and get used to it, x is going to be equal to the square root of Ka times the concentration of your weak acid. So when you go through your problem solving, see if, uh, if that holds true for your problems. Now definitions. You should define acid and you should define base. You should know the differences between the strong and the weak of acids and bases. Also, we have a limited number of strong acids. Make sure to have those re uh, ready for quick reference, as well as strong bases. You should also define pH. A couple of things to review or remember. Uh, when can the calculations be simplified? When they can be simplified, you can use this equation. But again, go through your problem solving and make sure you understand. Liquid water, and all solids are not in the K or the Q expressions. Um, you should write down calculating the pH of a, of a weak acid solution. So it should be something like HA in equilibrium with its H and A minus. And then write down the ice table and what that means. So you would also then go through, so the Ka expression is equal to the concentration of the H times the concentration of the A minus over the concentration of the HA. And all of that should be at equilibrium, which is where this row would come into play. So write things like that down. Also, don't forget your salt solutions. So when is the pH of a salt solution acidic? And when is the pH of a salt solution neutral or basic? So these are the kinds of things that you will need for the acid-base module.